one of the main reasons why teams fail or why there's a lack of productivity is because the people on the team don't like each other. Now, it doesn't have to be the whole team. All it takes is a personality conflict between two people, and if they haven't been trained effectively in how to communicate and how to resolve conflict, the whole team can get to where they're more focused on the personalities than on the project. As soon as you say, but, their antennas go up, but what? Now they're really waiting for the truth. Um, and is a little bit better not to sound like your mother, but watch your tone of voice. Words account for only 7% of what people believe about you and notice about you in face-to-face -face communication. Tone of voice, 38%. I won't make you do the math because it's after lunch, but a full 55% is body language. Alice? Yes, Colleen? You did a great job on this report, but what's she going to remember? The but and everything that goes after it. Because as soon as you say but, as soon as you say but, now the person's antennas really go up and they're waiting for the truth. All right. Also, the tone was not very encouraging or the body language. This is usually a full day seminar, so I'm not going to go into it too much. But here is something else that we could do. And yes, I just did say but. By the way, Alice, you did a great job on this report. And I just have a question about this paragraph on page six. So do you see a little bit different there as far as and and as far as body language? I think without realizing it, I got down even lower in terms of trying to see it from her point of view. So it's the words, but even more importantly, the tone and the body language. Think before you speak. Okay, it would sound like common sense, but all of you probably know people who don't think before they speak. Think before you speak. You've all heard the saying, it's not what you say, but how you say it. I would say it's not just what you say or how you say it, but how is that other person going to interpret what you're saying? Who here has ever sent somebody an email, whether it was to a friend of yours, a coworker, somebody that you work with, and you thought it was just a neutral email, and they completely took the message the wrong way? Because there's no tone in email, typically, and certainly no body language. That's probably one of the biggest complaints that I hear about nowadays. One of the biggest complaints I hear about in the workplace is people relying too much on email. And what ends up happening is somebody completely misconstrues the message.